<laughs> the darts. The darts. Hi guys, this is Matt the Ace, and yes, the darts. I'm flying the fighter plane with the trench loadout, and uh, as much as you can kill people with the nose gunners you just saw me do there, this is all about the darts. It's not all about the darts, but it's a big part of this fighter plane's loadout. The darts! The darts! See, all the footage that you will see in this video is going to be from before I even got my first 100 kills with the, the fighter plane with this loadout. I did fly the fighter plane uh, a little bit uh, in, during the beta as well, but uh, after the game has been released, I have almost exclusively been playing or flying the attack plane. <laughs> I love the darts. Love the darts. Now for me, using the darts is very fun, very satisfying. Of course, most satisfying is when you kill a bomber with three players in it. And as you can tell, when I first started getting a little bit of success with this fighter plane, I really could not hide my excitement. Now the reason why I wanted to get a few kills with the fighter plane was because of the Order of Icarus. It's one of the weekly medals, and uh, for a time I actually tried to get some of them. Uh, I, I gotta say though, I haven't really paid much attention to them lately, but uh, this is what it looks like when I was able to finish it. So now the reason why I decided to go with the trench fighter loadout was of course because of one of the most dedicated pilots in Battle V1, Iron Trollfisk. There will be a link to his YouTube channel and stream in the description below. So now later on in the video you will see some more air-to-air -air gameplay using these darts and how I've also uh, quite successfully been able to take out the very nemesis of uh, the pilots, which is the anti-air. But before we do that, I want to show you the kind of gameplay that I would recommend you to focus on if you are relatively new to the air gameplay, but more specifically to this technique and style of flying. Ah? <laughs> he got stuck on the, the horse, got stuck on the tank, so I got a perfect hit on him. So as you can see, the momentum from your plane moving forward carries over to the darts after you release them. So you want to drop them a little bit earlier than you would want to drop, let's say, the uh, cluster bombs or whatever they're called for the attack plane with the ground support. In most cases, I realized that I dropped them just as the enemy are about to leave my screen. But the, you still want them to be in line of sight when you drop the darts. But again, only in most situations. Also keep in mind that you need to be relatively accurate with the darts, something that might uh, take a little bit getting used to, and it also means that you need to plan your strafes, in some cases, a lot more carefully. Now so far I don't get the same amount of kill streaks or especially not the same amount of multi kills with the fighter plane as I do with the attack plane. You simply deal damage a lot more concentrated, which means that if there is a big group of people, they have to stand very very close to one another in order for you to get multi kills. However, the speed and the agility of the fighter plane gives it more survivability the way I see it, especially if you play conquest, and that is something that I want to point out. It seems to me that it is a lot harder to do well when you're playing Conquest, if you're flying, compared to Operations. Almost all pilots that I see do really well, they fly on Operations and not Conquest. Getting some nice kills though. Return to the combat area. So yeah, the way the game is now, I might actually start playing Operations a bit more for the sake of flying. Now I know that Anti-Air is equally powerful on both game modes, but there just seems to be more of them on Conquest, and it makes it like almost impossible to fly after the first 10 or 15 kills.
Oh, triple, guys. Triple with a dart. So what about those lame, overpowered, skillless, noob-friendly, disgusting anti-air cannons? Well, in theory, you basically kill them the same way you kill any other infantry on the ground. But with anti-air, you have to make sure that they don't see you coming. Now, even if you don't know where they are located, it's quite easy to spot them the moment they're shooting. And if there's ever a time for you to learn how to do this and to get the hang of it, it's when your team is being reinforced with the behemoth airship. But also actually learning where they are, it's, uh, it's well worth it. Yes, anti-air is down! So now, as most of you probably already know, anti-air is extremely powerful, has incredible range and requires absolutely no skill, which means that no matter who is using it, it is going to be very dangerous for you. That is so fucking satisfying. Hello, pumpkin! So now, aside from everything else I've mentioned about the anti-air, it will also make you lose control. So you can actually die from it, even if you're able to kill it. Uh, well, actually it might be over. <sighs> a weird thing about the air gameplay in Battlefield 1, you have three different planes. It's fighter planes, attack planes, and bombers. Now obviously the fighter planes were designed for air to air, but the fact of the matter is that it's actually really weak for that purpose. Going after attack planes like this is something that you have to be very careful about if they have a gunner, or if you see how the pilot is switching seats. And a bomber with three experienced players in it is almost impossible for a single fighter plane to take out the traditional way. So it's definitely well worth getting the hang of this. It's like playing the Recon class in a way-ish. Not really, but you know. Uh. We are losing objective Freddy. Because you can do that as well. Perhaps I can dodge him. I could! We have lost objective Freddy. There we go. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the video. My name is Matthias and I want to thank you all for watching. All right, all right. Ah, not fast enough. Oh, he's on the AA. He is on the AA. Objective 
Trench darts. We have taken objective butter. Sentry killed. Noise. Siamo attenti. C'è un soldato. <laughs> okay, I can help with the tanks. I can kill the guys when they jump out. <laughs> Just reloaded there. Wing damage. Not enough. Weaker disabled and killed. <laughs> 